Welcome to my efficient Mahogany Homes guide. Mahogany Homes is a construction mini game where players are given contracts in four different cities to help repair 12 unique residents' homes. The four cities being Hosidius, Ardoin, Falador, and Varrock. Each resident's home requires a different and varying amount of mahogany planks and steel bars to complete each contract. I'm going to show the most efficient routes to complete each, utilizing the best teleports, tick saving strategies, and the Lunar Spellbook's NPC contact to quickly get assigned new contracts. I would highly recommend getting bank tag layouts before ever doing mahogany homes. Bank tag layouts is a plugin found in the plugin hub of RuneLight. Be sure to download it and then set up your bank however you would like. I personally have my achievement diary cape first, followed by the arty tabs, and then I go down in order like this. Once fully geared, I will go back into the bank tag layouts, grab a ring of wealth, three steel bars, and the rest mahogany planks. I'd also highly recommend turning on the plugin plank sack that shows you how many planks are currently in your sack and then going into menu entry swapper and under item swaps going to bank deposit and selecting eat wield etc so when i'm banking to resupply myself i can shift click my mahogany planks and then while shift is held simply left click the plank sack and then it fills it just holding down shift i can click 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 and I am refilled ready to go after each and every contract you do you will be casting NPC contact found on the lunar spellbook and selecting Amy once the dialogue appears you will press spacebar once twice and then you will press four followed by space as long as you have Mahogany Homes plugin hub installed on RuneLight, you can see exactly how many planks you will need for this contract, as well as how many steel bars. Always bring the maximum amount that it says. There is a RuneLight issue currently with the plank sack plugin. When you are resupplying your mahogany planks and you click the plank sack a bit too quickly, so it shows that there's nine, but I have set my shift left click to check. So when I shift left click, I can check. And of course there's 28 instead of nine. So throughout your contracts, you may need to just shift left click your plank sack just to be sure that you have enough planks in there. Each expert contract that you complete, contracts using mahogany planks, will grant you five carpenter points. These carpenter points can buy the carpenter's outfit, which grants bonus construction XP, Hosidious blueprints, Amy's saw, a wieldable saw, the plank sack, which holds 28 planks, and the supply crate, which gives a very low amount of raw materials for construction. Now, before I show you the specific routes of each resident's home, I need to say it is worth it to use staminas when resupplying. You can drink the tea that the residents offer you after completing a contract. However, if you want to receive the maximum amount of construction XP per hour, it is better that you sip stams. Now I will show the most efficient way to complete every single contract. When assigned Barbara, you'll be using your max cape and teleporting to your POH in Hosidius. You will always fix the range first. If it isn't broken, you'll just go immediately to the chair. Once the drawers are fixed, click directly on the chair, followed by the table, and then click on the door. If, however, the grandfather clock is not broken, you'll just head directly into the room and fix the bed. Whenever you're assigned Mariah, you will always want to drop off at the bank and resupply every single time. There isn't really too much to this house, you'll just be following in a counterclockwise pattern and then directly up the stairs. Fixing the table and the bed. Then immediately going out to the balcony, fixing that table and then going down the stairs to fix the dining table. Just as you do with Mariah, you'll be teleporting to Hosidius with your Xerix talisman over to Leela's house. Immediately click the door, fix the sink if available, go into the small room with the two small tables, fix those, fix the bed, and go up the stairs. Once upstairs, click two tiles south, fixing the cupboard and the mirror if available, followed by the table, and then head back downstairs.
When assigned Ross, you'll be using your diary cape and clicking 1. Upon entering, stall for one tick, fix the drawer, click in front of the second drawer. If the range doesn't need to be repaired but you have four tasks remaining, click north of the ladder. Fix the hat stand, open the door before fixing the master bed, then click one tile north of the mirror, fixing the mirror and the guest bed. Now if the mirror doesn't need to be replaced, you'll fix the hat stand and immediately fix the guest bed before the master bed. Click your Artie tab and head to Jess's house, unless you're coming from Ross's house. First fix the cupboard, then the cabinets, enter the second bedroom. If the bathtub doesn't need to be fixed, you will go in order from the master bed to the table, cupboard, grandfather clock, and then to Jess. If the bathtub does need to be repaired, fix that last. Just like Jess, click your Artie tab to head to Noella's house. If the door is closed, step to the adjacent south tile before opening the door. However, on the off chance that the door is already open and your character's true tile lands on the first tile entering the house, close the door and then head up the eastern stairs. This in turn saves a tick when returning down the stairs up the ladder. In order, fix the grandfather clock, the drawers, the middle table, and then the southern table if available. Whenever you're assigned any Falador contract, always stop off at the bank to resupply. Click directly on the front door of Larry's house, repairing the ground floor middle table first. Now on the off chance the door is already opened, immediately climb up the stairs. Then head back down, fix the middle table, the hat stand, the two drawers, and then the range if necessary. Unless you're getting a back-to-back -back Falador task, you will always be using your Ring of Wealth to teleport. Tao's house is very simple. Start with the northern furniture, end with the southern furniture. As with all Falador tasks, stop off at the bank, resupply, and then head over to Norman's. Now unless you're coming directly from Larry's, you will have to click the northern adjacent tile to the door. Once upstairs, immediately fix the bookshelf and then head directly east over to the table and bed. Then of course, fix the drawers and then talk to Norman. As with all Varrock tasks, you will be using your diary cape and clicking the letter D. Always start out fixing the table, then head over to the dresser and bed. Fix the range if necessary, followed by the shelves and table. When assigned Jeff, simply click his door Start with the middle table, followed by the bookcase. Click directly on the door leading into the room with the staircase. Once you've clicked the staircase, anticipate clicking the chair, followed by the table. If the meter doesn't need to be repaired, you can save a tick by fixing the drawers and then pathing to the southern part of the bed. Then head back down the stairs, talk to Jeff. Now unless you're coming directly from Jeff's house, you will have to use your diary cape hitting the letter D and heading over to Bob's. Generally, you can save a tick by clicking adjacent to the door before opening it, head up the stairs, fix the drawers and wardrobe, and head back down the stairs anticipating the bookshelf. Click the large table, the two cabinets, and then be sure to click in front of the last bookshelf before repairing it. 
Now I'm going to show you guys an efficient 280K construction XP hour sped up super fast. In conclusion, Mahogany Homes is a fantastic minigame. I gotta give a big shout out to Mod Arcane for heading the project. And I really hope this guide encouraged you guys to potentially try out Mahogany Homes. And if you already are a Mahogany Homes enthusiast, that you took a few tips and tricks away from it. And as always, thank you guys so much. Give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't, and I will catch you on the next one.